me, please. Pray with me. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, as we plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that you are thy word. And Lord Jesus Christ, there is no question in how much our Father loves us. And we thank you, Lord, that you being love, that you would lay everything down at, at the cross, that you would bleed every drop for us, that you would take on every stripe, <laughs> knowing, knowing what I would do to you. <laughs> you, wouldn't, you, wouldn't, you will never give up on us. And Lord Jesus Christ, that's who you are. And you are our Lord. You are our master, our savior. You are the only one worthy. You are the only holy one. You are the only righteous one. You are the only way to the Father. You are the only way to have Holy Spirit. You are the only way to live an abundant life. You are the only way to worship you the way we worship here in your church at Open Arms Community Church, Father. And we just thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we know before the word is even even released into the atmosphere, that your presence reigns and we can feel you. Holy Spirit, it is your light. It is your light that there is no amount of darkness that can withstand your light. There is nothing that can come against your presence, Heavenly Father. And I am thankful to be surrounded by your beloved children that are filled with your spirit, that are sealed by your holy blood, and that nothing can come against them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Nothing. Hallelujah. So, Father God, bless our time of worship. It's all you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's all to lift you up. Whoever is speaking, we are just a mouthpiece, Father. We don't touch your glory. We don't want none of it. Rebuke our pride, Father. It's all to glorify and worship you, Lord Jesus Christ. And Holy Spirit, thank you that every time, every time, your presence just overflows beyond what we can ever comprehend or understand. And Father, I thank you. I thank you once again, Father God, that you position all your angels around us. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that your angels fight for us. And thank you, Father God, that your light pushes evil and slays every demonic thing, Father God. If they don't listen, cut the head off right now. Hallelujah. And it's in Jesus' name and all God's beloved said, amen. amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Woo, give somebody a high five. Amen. Praise God. Okay, so um, had something big and elaborate planned for this evening, and the Holy Spirit said, I don't want that. And the Holy Spirit said that he wants to revisit what we went through last Friday. But then Holy Spirit said he's going to speak in a different way. So I went, started going through and started deleting some things, and the Holy Spirit said, I didn't say delete it. So I undo. <laughs> <laughs> undo, undo, right? <laughs> yeah, let's get that back. Amen. <laughs> and so um, I asked for your prayer as we go through this. Um, once again, the way I stop God from blessing my life is when I try to figure him out. The way I stop God from moving in my life is when I treat him religiously or familiar. I never want to treat God Almighty as familiar. Right? I never want to enter these doors in this sacred holy place as if, oh, it's just another Friday. Rebuke that, amen? amen? And it's a choice. Hallelujah. It's a choice, right? You can be working on the farm for 12, 14 hours, go home and just, right, go home and just crash, or I hear you, Holy Spirit, it's time to go. Amen, amen? and hallelujah. And, right, it's a choice, amen? And I pray that we make that choice this evening, that we let everything go. I need to give Sister Jackie a hug. I need to give Sister Jackie a hug. Holy Spirit, said, Holy Spirit said, give my beloved daughter a hug. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know how we didn't hug each other. I was all in. Anyway. All right. Let's get into this. We're in principle six, Christ, and this is the step we're in, reflection. Amen. When we talk about reflection, we discussed, I am recovered is your ministry for the Lord. Amen. Now, why, what am I saying about this? Number one, it's about blessing Holy Spirit and doing work in a relationship in drawing near and closer to God. It's doing work. Amen. Once again, that's between you and the Lord. Right? This could be all of your worship. And when you go home, you're playing video games. 
you know, being crunchy, sitting there. I don't know what you're doing. I'm not judging nobody, right? I'm not judging nobody. I'm not looking at nobody, okay? Just shake my head and just cross my eyes. I'm not. But if you're worshiping God and you, you fellowship and you're intimate and you're talking to one another and you're sharing and you're being transparent and you're seeing the goodness of God in every story. Because remember, I am recovered. We are transparent with the Lord and we discuss everything in confidence. But at the same time, we don't leave it at garbage. Amen? We don't leave it at garbage. We talk about but God. Can I, can I get an amen? Say with me, but God. And the big but God is what you see on the screen, amen? I am recovered. It is Christ, Holy Spirit, agape-centered. What I mean is the sixth principle is the center, the center, the masterpiece, the cornerstone, and his name is Lord Jesus Christ. And it's right now in this process, if I may say, as you're worshiping, as you're working faithfully through your I am recovered book in prayer, and, in, and you know, there, it's a re there's a reason why the book is so so big. And so you write all over it, right? It's not a museum piece. If you want one for a museum piece, what a blessing. We'll bless you with one for a museum piece, amen? But just write all over that bad boy, amen? And the reason why God wants you to write in Habakkuk, right? Chapter 2, I believe. In Habakkuk chapter 2, God says, write your visions down. And as you write the visions down, he will see in faith, what you're believing for, and he will bless it. Amen? So write, write it down. Write it down. Amen? Say it with me. Write it down. Write it down. And these lessons are within this principle, within this step. Lesson 12, 13, and 14. We're not going to go through that because we went through that last year. Amen? And we have that up on YouTube. And um, I encourage you, go check it out on YouTube. Amen? But what did God teach us and what does Holy Spirit want to say about this? Number one. Father says, I'm a merciful God. Amen? My, my, my love, my mercy is from everlasting to everlasting. As far as the east is from the west. Amen? Which means you can mess up a hundred times, God will forgive you a hundred and one. Amen? You can mess up a million times, God will forgive you a million and one. Right? He's always one up. Amen? He is God Almighty. Number two, faith. There is no faith other than Lord Jesus Christ. Faith has a name, amen? And it's his faith. Say it with me, his faith. It's his faith that pleased our merciful Father to the point where Father mm, had to turn away. And lesson 14 is grace. Say it with me, grace has a name. Grace is not a credit card, right? Oh, I just pray that I get more grace. I've just always been this way, and I always cuss like this, and I always drink, and I always do that. For one, I rebuke you. Another, what are you talking about? Oh, I just know that I'm forgiven, and that he died on that cross, and he paid for all my sins. So it doesn't matter what I do. I rebuke you because God lives in you, and you're no longer your own. And what you're doing to him, he is inside of you. Amen? I am, say with me, I am a temple of God. Oh, hallelujah. We're going to get deep into this now. And we only got 10 minutes. Praise God. Christ Jesus is Lord, the absolute truth of my existence. Who is paid for? What relationship is paid in full? What exactly did Lord Jesus Christ, why did Lord Jesus Christ die for me? These are the things that we discussed last Friday in depth. For those of you who don't know, and I pray you know, Trish and I, we don't discuss anything, not one thing of what we discuss in our meetings. I pray it's the same for you all that have wives and husbands, right? Just no, no discussing anything. This is confidential, amen? Say it with me. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. is my shield. Amen. God will extinguish every fiery dart. Right now, if you feel like a porcupine, if you feel like a porcupine, that that devil got all these arrows in you right now, I ask you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, in the next remaining 10 minutes, will you press into worshiping him? Will you press into, will you cry for him? Will you tell him, I'm sorry that I'm carrying this burden. I'm sorry that I'm trying to, 
do things my way. I'm sorry that it's about me. It's not about me. It's about you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? This is between you and God, beloved. This is between you and God because I know what your life will turn out to be if you make it all about you and your family. Destruction. But if you could stop that, that you're not the victim anymore. We can't say, oh, woe is me, look at me, look at me. What are you talking about? You are blessed and highly favored. You are co-heirs with Christ Jesus. You are royalty. Hallelujah. You're a king. You're a king. You're a queen. Amen. Last time I checked, kings and queens don't walk around like Eeyore. Oh, look at me. Look at my kingdom. Oh, my goodness. What am I going to do today? Enough of that. Can I get an amen? If you truly believe Holy Spirit is God, he lives inside. And the way you act and live your life and speak should be a direct reflection of who God is. Amen? Because if you don't believe in Holy Spirit, then guess what? You're going to run your mouth, speak diarrhea, act stupid. I said it. Just act foolish and stupid with no, with no respect to God. You know why? You don't believe in Holy Spirit. You say you believe in Jesus. What does that have to do with anything? I mean it. Even Lord Jesus said, you believe in me, you don't only believe in me. If you believe in me, you don't only believe in me. You believe in the Father. You believe in me and you believe in Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, come on now, family. Hallelujah. Help me out. Refle say with me, reflection. So we're taking a reflection right now this moment. Right now, God is working through you right now. He's flood I mean, right now, he's flooding inside of you. Uh, what's this thought? Get this out of here. What's this confusion in your heart? Get it out of here. There's no confusion about your sex. You're a boy or a girl. Can I get an amen? If you're confused, it's a demon. And that demon has to go in Jesus' name. Say it with me. Get out. In Jesus' name. We cannot allow these different spirits of the world to be a part of your worship life. It don't work like that, boo-boo. It does not work like that. God is a God of order. My views and opinion of God cannot change his word. Guess what? If I don't like it, I have to deal with it. Because God said so. Can I get an amen? Whew. But we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, being transformed. How many of you are being transformed? Be honest with the Lord. Every day, how many of you are being transformed? Look at that. Right now, this moment, God says, look around and look at your brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what I'm talking Elder Charles, amen. That's what I'm talking Brother PJ, come on. Hallelujah. Say it with me, glory. glory. This word glory comes from the Greek word doxa. D-O-X-A, doxa. Say it with me, doxa. Doxa means, the original text means God's view and opinion of you. See, we can talk all day. I can talk all day and, and fool you. I could fool anybody. Oh, I know this scripture. I know this. I know, what, what, I know the backdrop of this scripture. I know who was there. I know the characters. I know everything that's going on there. You see, that's how the world was before Lord Jesus. Right? Pharisees. No relationship with God, but they can talk about everything. Why? It's all up here. But then here comes Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ says, you really want my father? I am here. And I'm going to make a way to the father. I'm going to be crucified. And my blood is going to pay everything once and for all. And when I do this, I will rise up. And you will rise up with me if you call out on my name. And you call out on my name, I will now live in you. And for all of eternity, you will be mine and I will be yours. Can I get a hallelujah? Oh, Lord Jesus, bless us. Amen. We talk about this glory and then you see these handsome, handsome, handsome men. Oh, my goodness. So handsome. Psst. That was just, that was just, fought. Psst. that's hot. 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 Say it with me, hot. Psst. Whoo, Hot. And you look, well, or you look at yourself. When you look at yourself, who do you see, right? And we went through this last week. Oh, come on now, family. 
Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Say his name, Lord Jesus Christ. God held time for us there for a moment. Thank you, Father. He did. I know you know already, Brother David. Reflection. Say it with me, reflection. I say this with all the fear of my God. We cannot change the gospel. If you're struggling with something and you know it's not of God, it has to be rebuked in Jesus' name. You cannot say, well, it's okay, and now you try to change the gospel. It doesn't work that way. That's evil, and that very thing is trying to drag you to hell. I'm asking again. Tonight in our small groups, let's reflect in our very being. Now, when I say our very being, every one of y'all, Lord leads you to, to share, you share. But what Holy Spirit wants for us to do is to reflect what is going on in my mind that is not of the Lord. This is why Holy Spirit wants you to confess it. It's the moment you speak that very thing. Maybe it's depression. Maybe it's anxiety. Maybe it's suicide thoughts. Maybe it's homosexuality. Maybe it's confusion, depression, anxiety. Maybe you're just religious. Right? Let's face it. There's many of us right now. You've been in church so long, you just act weird. And you think it's holy. It's a demon. God knows who you really are. Amen. Don't try to hide behind religion. Don't try to hide behind, oh, hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to speak in tongues now. What are you saying? This comes from the Lord. What are you saying? Right? Are you just trying to babble? Or are you speaking with purpose? Who is in your heart? That's number two. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit wants to hear what's going on in your heart. Is there addiction that's pulling at you? Huh? This is between you and the Lord. You don't have to. Come on now. He's God Almighty. You don't have to. But God is saying, is there something pulling at you? That's a spiritual stronghold. Some of these strongholds are generational curses. And guess what? Say it with me. It stops tonight. Whoa, hallelujah, right? Amen. It stops tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And number three, what about your body? I'm a member of Lord Jesus Christ. This isn't my body. It belongs to my God. Holy Spirit lives in me. Everything I do to this body. Is there something that we're doing to this body that we know is wrong? Are we eating things that we shouldn't be eating? Are we doing perverse things to this body that we should not be doing? This is serious. The Lord says that we should be blameless when that trumpet sounds. Amen. I know we just got up off the altar, so guess what? We're all leaving when that trumpet goes off in the next half an hour. Amen? Amen. But God wants to get deeper in, in you. It's always uncomfortable when you're surrounded by brothers and sisters. The devil likes to say, are you really going to say something? What is that person going to think? I pray in Jesus' name you hear Holy Spirit and say, did I not do enough on that cross? Amen. And I'm just asking you to be honest. Amen? Stand up with me. Praise God. Once again, God held time right there. That was, there was no way that was four minutes. Can I get an amen? There was no way that was four minutes saying all that. Hallelujah. I pray that tonight that we would get uncomfortable with God. Listen, I know we're church family. I know we all know each other. We love each other. Praise God. But I pray that tonight you will get uncomfortable with God with what you want to share. I'm going to tell you right now, there is no judgment. Because Holy Spirit has nothing to do with that. And I know that we're Holy Spirit's church. Amen? See, what I said earlier, Holy Spirit just said to say it again. 
It's not about you. There's some of you right now that struggle with that. Oh, but I love the drama. I love stepping into situations and, and the attention's on me. I love to talk to everybody about how, oh, this is going so bad and this is so bad. It's a demon. And that demon has no right to be in you. Will you allow God to cut that devil's head off tonight? Can I get an amen? amen. Hallelujah. Just cut it off. Amen. amen. I'm going to ask Brother William to pray over their small groups. And uh, let's just go into small groups. Amen. Dear gross and heavy, Father, we just come to you tonight, Father. Father, we just ask you right now, Father, to, to let every one of us open our minds and our hearts, Father, in this small group, Father, and, and let us speak out what you want us to, Father, and only what you want us to speak, Father. And, Father, just let it come out, just no matter if they want to let it come out or not, just let it come out. And, Father, we just ask you to be with these small groups, Father, and just bless them, Father, and just... We just ask you in your precious son's name we pray. And all God's children say, Amen. Amen.